Yeah, this is going to be summer love for one of the zodiacs for the remainder of the summer. I know June's about over for the first half of the zodiacs. I did June, July, August, but for you guys, I'm going to do July, August, and September. So let's see who's next. Um, drawing actually and so we actually have Sagittarius here the Jupiter rule Sagittarius so we'll see what's in store for Sagittarius love this summer Sagittarius sun moon rising Venus I do do personal readings you can put me in the description the tarot simple app or my direct booking check other placements in your birth charts. So the reading doesn't resonate. Cross watchers, you're welcome, but keep in mind that the way that the cards come out could pertain more to you than the year person. So take everything as it resonates, guys, and what does not. I do appreciate all viewers. So Let's see what's going on with Sagittarius. So this is your July. Seven of Swords. This is your August Death Scorpio Energy. And this is your September. The bottom of the deck, I'll just show you the Page of Cups. So there's something about an ending that um, occurs over the summer because of the bad side of social media. It's like someone's been sneaking around. They may be watching you. And they may be trying to um, spread lies and rumors. Um, and it may be someone that you guys deal with um, that is, they're coming up as a page. This person is a burden. And you may have had a relationship with them in the past. Some of you I'm hearing may even... Um, be single parents that deal with this person. It's like you may have children with this person. Um, Cause we have two pages and we have people here at odds. Um, page of Swords, that is your air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This, this person, they're manipulative. They play mind games. They bite off more than they can chew. They're very problematic energy and they um, lack the mindset to be able to have the new beginning that is required to um, be able to plan how to, you know, work together and be on the same wavelength mentally. mentally. Um, so yeah, that is um, the overall for the month. I said the month, but I meant the summer. Um, let's see more about this energy. The reverse three of wands. So is someone that's impulsive? They um, they're very reckless. They definitely don't you know come through when they need to. Bottom of the deck, the lovers. Um, Gemini energy. This person does care about you though. That's the thing. And um, it may be that you have them blocked 
I'm hearing and they're still watching you and they're wanting you to unblock them or to basically get involved with them somehow. Um, but they're waiting on you to unblock them for whatever reason. Let's see more about this block. Why is this person blocked throughout the summer? This person is blocked because you, the Empress, the Ace of Swords, and the Hierophant. So major Taurus energy here. Um, Sag. Libra 2. At the bottom of the deck, the Six of Pentacles. Um, this person is blocked because they block your creative energy and you know you don't have time for the unexpected non-committal you know stuff that they got going on like you're looking for something more traditional and you feel like you know you if you're married you you know you block this person because you want to save your marriage you want to have a strong marriage some somebody's going to try to interfere and cause some kind of interference with your connection. Um, if for those that are single, I'm getting two storylines here. For those that are single, that's why I say I'm getting two. This is my two storyline cards. But um, for those of you that are single, um, you have someone blocked. For those of you that are in a commitment, someone's going to try to interfere with your marriage and they're going to try to tell lies. And it's going to cause you and your partners to maybe have to have a come to Jesus and really pray together to overcome, you know, whoever, whatever this is that tries to interfere. Um, and it's like, you know, it's a, it, it needs to be an equal give and take for you and someone's gonna get hurt, but you're, you know, you're, you're gonna move past this. It's gonna be better. It's gonna take some work, but um, there's definitely gonna be something that comes that someone tries to sneak and like break y'all up. And for those that are single again, this you have someone blocked because they um they're they're not compatible with how you move. Um you don't like how this person is shady and always trying to sneak around. Um so now that I know I have two storylines here, I definitely got to pull another deck out. So tell me what to expect for those that are single in July. What's the biggest message for single Sagittarius in July? Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What's going to be significant for them in July? Okay. So, for singles, the Queen of Swords, the Queen of Pentacles, and the Nine of Wands. So, there's two people here. Um, Queen of Swords, Queen of Pentacles, Nine of Wands. Um, someone's going to be talking. Uh, Queen of Swords, you know, that's air energy. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Queen of Pentacles, Earth Energy, Taurus, Libra, Capricorn. Um, there's going to be a conversation that's had between two people. And um, it's going to be a head over heart, straight to the point kind of conversation about a marriage or commitment that someone's been hurt in. And they're going to be using that um you know, they're going to be trying to make it seem like you're unstable or they don't want to commit to you. And it's all like at the same time, as July goes by, I'm hearing they're going to want to try to fix things. And they don't really know what side of the fence they really want to, you know, side on. And unfortunately, um, Sag, I'm seeing that you do, you know, kind of have some sentiments for this person. I mean, they're showing up. So, um, it's like, 
this is going to be a talk that is had about how this person's hurt you or how you've hurt this person. Take it as it resonates. And, um, you know, it's, it's going to be about the time and energy that's put in. I'm hearing how to keep the bad vibes out. I'm hearing someone's going to be called bitter. And um, there's going to be some very harsh words throughout July I'm not even gonna front like some of you may even um get very defensive from this person or with this person in some kind of way and it's like you um you feel this person is childish we got the page of cups at the bottom of the deck again so I feel some of you do have children with this person and you're defensive with them and any kind of opportunity with them. It's like you don't trust them. It's like you see some kind of red flags and you're like, no, um, I don't want to give up on this yet, but I know you're still not something I want to commit to anytime soon. So what is this July looking like for my married Sagittarius? Or in relationships. A little simple message here. The fool. At the bottom of the deck, the two of cups. So July looks like someone taking some kind of leap of faith, um, some lighthearted energy. Um, really in their power, not really wanting to um be held back. But um also kind of to themselves and you know, defensive. Um, at the same time, because as you can see, she's by herself. Most traditional full decks have a dog or some kind of companion. She's by herself. It's just her and her power. So I feel, um, in the connection, some of you will be kind of, you know, planning how to have a new beginning and a new start with your lover, how to kind of like move to the next chapter I'm hearing. Because we have at the bottom of the deck the two of cups. So we're talking about people that are in some kind of, you know, emotional commitment where they both bounce and feeling each other on a reciprocal level. And so um, with this fool, you know, it's a new chapter. Um, yeah, see, healing. And it's like I hear, um, you know, it's a, the old way of how things are, are, you know, how it is and I I feel like there will be some kind of hiatus you guys may take a trip in July that really kind of brings things you know to a place of peace and um just a time to get away I'm hearing so what's going on for the twins in August for the single so the twins the single Sagittarius What's going on with singles at the Fairy Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for August? So the Page of Pentacles for you guys. Um, the bottom of the deck, the Five of Swords. So some kind of underachieving person is basically, you know, coming through on some unstable, ungrounded offer I'm hearing. And it's like, it's led to mind games and you're very much over it, the singles. And, you know, you're feeling like this is gonna be a missed opportunity and you're holding back from wanting to invest anything to major into this because you already know the type of person you're dealing with. But again, we have pages. I feel like for some of you, there's some children involved. And so for you singles, um, August is looking like some, you know, little, I don't know. You guys um, probably are going to be having a headache from this person in August. I'm not even going to front you. Let's see what else. Page of Swords again. Um, yeah. It's that energy. This person's going to be watching you and stuff. And they're going to be trying to formulate ideas and they may even be writing stuff about you online. They're just like, you're not really going to be wanting to deal with this person. Like, you're probably going to go ahead and block this person for good, like, in August. What's going on with my married or committed Sagittarius in August? What's going on with Sagittarius? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for August that are married, the six of wands for August. 
bottom of the deck, Temperance Sagittarius. So, yeah, you're going to be in your energy and there's something you're going to be leaving behind, some old stagnant emotions, probably from that death energy in July, because we have the star here too, Aquarius energy again. Um, wish fulfillment, winning, um, achieving something, you and your marriage, uh, really just kind of, you know, on the rise, overcoming maybe some obstacles that you and your lover had, may have had with um, maybe some energies that you both dealt with, you know, maybe mentally that you had to overcome because sometimes we are our worst enemies or like, like I said, someone that was interfering um, that kind of caused a little, um, you know, a little roller coaster, but you get out of it and, you know, things are looking good. People are, you know, giving a lot of attention to you and your person, like they're admiring you and they're wanting to see you guys win. So that's really good for the married and committed Sag. Let's see what's going on with the single Sagittarius Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for September, please. Sagittarius Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for September. Singles. So singles, what I have here for you is the Two of Swords. and the king of pentacles um table drag me sorry i do accept tips anyway um two of swords king of pentacles uh for you singles you uh can't decide if you really want to deal with this person or not you're in this victim mentality you feel like this person has done you wrong and there's things that they're hiding from you that you can't see you have your guard up and you're mentally perceiving them as maybe you know someone that's betrayed you and not been the best communicator with you and you're kind of turning away from really wanting to pay attention to any kind of offer or commit with this person you view this person as non-committal in august i think you're kind of turning your head from them um and trying to go within and use your intuition to figure out you know basically how to get the relationship it is that you want like and deserve like you're finally trying to let go and I, like I said I feel like you indefinitely keep this person blocked in um September from something whether it's being able to reconcile or you block them on social media from contacting you there's some way you feel this person has made you extremely uncomfortable and you've turned your back to them cold shoulder so that's good for you if this is a very toxic energy king of pentacles earth energy you know i'm not really sure why this isn't grounded and going in for the long run from it is but it's like i feel like you feel like there's insecurities lies secrets this person is hiding your gut is telling you that you know this may be somebody that you could have had this with but you need them to mature but it's like deep down you know you do want to reconcile this person you care about them you want happy times to come back and you know that they can happen but it's like you know this person needs the time to really learn to be a provider and um show you that on all levels and you need them to grow up i'm hearing and emotionally mature more than anything so tell me what's going on with the married Sagittarius in August. Um, it's not taking out like it just fell out. Married Sagittarius in August. Sun Moon Rising in Venus. I was in a committed relationship of some kind. What's going on for them? And it's actually September. I'm supposed to be asking about. That's probably why nothing came out. September. Right. And I'm just going to keep shuffling because I'm hearing it's going to come out the way it needs to when it's time. If you need to fast forward, feel free. Let's see. So the double Capricorn energy for you guys in September for those in a commitment or marriage. At the bottom of the deck, the Empress, um, Taurus energy, the Devil Capricorn. Something about secret lies, 
an excessive energy that is needing to be healed from in order for um, everything, all caskets to be closed for closure um, because there's some insecurities, some fears, some sleepless nights, some demons someone may have rest wrestled around with and it's made some of you guys consider being single. Um, for some, I'm hearing that it may be an addiction or some ego or dark night of soul things that you've had to conquer on your own. And you come out strong. Um, some of the marriages will make it, some won't. Um, some will decide that these insecurities and fears have, you know, this was the last chance to get it right. And they're, you know, starting to emotionally gain clarity about what was really going on um and they've changed their mind about wanting to um wait for you to make your next move the best move and really work on being um someone that's going to take action and bring passion and charisma to the connection instead of dreaming and all that uh player stuff that um takes away time and energy from being able to you know experience the love that really is had it's like this summer is going to be a roller coaster for all you Sagittarius collective I broke it down because spirit told me to this time but um you know every reading I do is unique that's why I encourage everyone to subscribe it's never the same ever um I do try to make it a little entertaining just like we're here, this message is for you guys. Um, this is, you know, what it is. And um, we're gonna get some more oracle advice and just let it flow from there because it shows that, you know, there are some deep feelings, but there are also, you know, an inner knowing that someone may be involved with two people at one time. I'm not even going to lie to you, that's what I'm picking up, and I don't know if that's you or the other person, Sag, but you guys know who you are, and if you want to stay tuned to really see the breakdown of what goes on, I will start posting more content, I promise. <clears throat> Somebody doesn't want me to talk about it, <coughs> I might have to get my water, Ooh, I rebuke it, anywho, advice for... My Sagittarius Collective. Um, new Moon and Sagittarius. Focus on the positive. There you go. Like, I'm, don't ever doubt me. I promise I got y'all. Even if people do got me coughing and don't want my throat chakra to tell y'all what's up. Phoenix Ash, keep the tea. Hashtag. Anyway, New Moon and Scorpio go deeper. So definitely, you know, keeping a happy vibe around you and doing some introspection and, you know, really feel out your emotions and, you know, prepare to go through a spiritual awakening or, you know, rebirth um, and evolving spiritually or descending, depends on the choice you make. But um, first quarter moon and cancer push through any insecurities. So if any of you are experiencing insecurities and fears, know that you are worthy and you need to stay positive and think about the good that can happen and how you are deserving of a divine love and, you know, the good of the situation, even if it seems like it's bad, create good for yourself no matter what. First quarter moon and Virgo assess the situation. Really figure out what's really going on and, um, you know, don't let anyone try to convince you it's glittering gold if it's pyrite. And I'm going to leave it at that. Um, sometimes everything and what it seems. It's time for you to not really stress and find a place of peace. Um, and take a reality check. Uh, get out of denial. Be real with yourself. Uh, make sure other people are being real with you. Uh, really get a full picture of what's going on and release anything that feels like it's obsessive, toxic, or doesn't feel right. We all have a conscience as we dig deep. And it's time to get out of the false illusions and see through some false masks. Everybody ain't who or what they seem. 
really get a feel of who wants what's best for you and not let anyone try to bring you or your value and your time and energy down. And so um, that's pretty much what I have for you, Sagittarius, for the summer. I wish you guys the best of luck. If you want a personal reading, again, the description is down below. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up button. If you want to subscribe, go ahead and stick around. I'd love that. And if you feel like this resonates with someone that sounds familiar with you, stick around for the rest of the summer. Love and laughs.